So they tested active versus retired fighters and did their proteins. Another takeaway for you is the blood-brain barrier is made up of the same proteins as your gut. So autoantibodies made against the gut can also attack your blood-brain barrier. So if you have leaky gut or dysbiosis and you play sports and get a concussion, guess what? More susceptible to a more advanced concussion. You're not able to respond to concussion. Here's a Ray 20. I use this all the time. So you see the first Ray 20 permeability screen, fine. Next one, you're seeing that you had a recent onset blood brain damage. In addition, ongoing is a different marker. So there are different tests and more and more tests growing that you can use to utilize and ascertain do you have a concussion and what about the blood brain barrier? Because repeated concussions lead to disruption of the blood brain barrier. You get unwanted molecules or cells in the brain. You damage your neurons, you damage your microglia, you get antibodies to produce against them. You ultimately get neuro autoimmunity and neural degeneration at the brain level. Here, we have an intact tight junction. The blood brain barrier is fine. Even though you have a few auto reactive antibodies, there's no damage. It doesn't go through to the neurons. On the right side, you have a lot of auto um, reactive antibodies. But without the blood brain barrier being damaged, you get no damage or additional damage to the neurons. However, even in this one where you have permeability to the blood brain barrier, you're getting few autoreactive reactions. You're getting some damage to the neurons. When you've got a lot of autoreactive antibodies and blood-brain barrier, you probably have damage you can't recover from. So the takeaway here is brain cells definitely stimulate inflammation. They continue to damage your brain cells. But if you take care of patients with a head injury, you must assess and treat the blood-brain barrier. And you're never going to get a clinical outcome that's needed. In addition, Leaky brain leads to leaky gut. Leaky brain leads to leaky gut. The best probiotics for brain health. If you want to increase BDNF, the two of them have been shown to help the most, the lactobacillus brevis and bifidobacter longus. If you want for your gut health, lactobacillus plantarum, lactobacillus acidophilus, and bifidobacter lactis. Concussion diagnosis in teens hit record high. So from between the ages of 10 and 19, they're increased by 17%. Adults by 26%. Teens are five times more likely to be diagnosed with a concussion than all the other age groups combined. Soccer players, number one female, I said before, concussion. They are three times more likely to have concussion symptoms when they head the ball. Six times more likely when they have an accidental hit. If you have a female or a male soccer player, you have to tell them to improve their core strength and their next muscular trunk, especially a female. So much so, girls now, the young girls are not hitting the ball. It's been bad. Major thing in soccer, they hit the ball, they played it, major thing. Concussions, you want to write this down. The most complicated disease of the most complex organ of the body. It was in an article last night in Science Digest. The most complicated disease of the most complex organ of the body. Concussion damage in your brain. And what I would like to say, your brain and your gut complex. Second impact syndrome. You got a concussion, you didn't get it healed right, you didn't let it heal and you hit it again. It's a bad day for everybody.